This is a general collective message, so only take what applies and let the rest fly. Most importantly, be sure to watch responsibly and always vibe with your tribe. Aloha everybody, this is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Fa'afitaitelilava for being here today. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. What's up everybody, this is Joey and I have a channel message for you guys today and this channel message is about a false victory a fake ending that took place that recently took place so i get that there's a group of individuals who were uh attacking the collective okay within the collective you're you are being seen as a rising star Okay, you're being seen as rising stars. You're stepping into in your truth and you're stepping into your authenticity. Okay, and there are people who do not want to see you reach. I'm hearing the heights of your strength, the heights of your authenticity, because the more you the more your star rises and the more you reach. A level, a certain level of personal growth, it weakens them. It makes you even more stronger. Uh, and it, it it makes it makes you more stronger so that they're not they're not able to stop you. It makes you more stronger to the point where they're not able to stop you. I'm getting you guys are generational curse breakers. So you are not like the rest. You are not like the other people. I feel like they looked at you like you were just like an average Joe. You're just like everybody else. OK. Um, let me let me just swoop in. I see this person has a little light. I see they have a little talent. I see that they have something going on with themselves. Let me just swoop in and take that from them. So you guys may have been coming across gatekeepers. You may have been coming across people who uh, held some sort of quote unquote power over people. Okay. But I'm getting here that it was a false victory. This setback, okay, that you may have experienced was a setup to a new victory for you all right it is not the end it is actually a fake ending because i'm seeing a group of people coming together working against working against one individual and i'm seeing that they were trying to affect your finances whatever you whatever you did as your livelihood, they try to take that from you, okay? And see, what they didn't realize is, is that you are not a one trick pony, okay? You got more talents and skills. All your eggs ain't, ain't, are not put into one basket. And that is what they thought, okay? And that's why they're, I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a group of individuals who are celebrating, they're having an early celebration they celebrating before I'm getting before the show where the story is over. Your story is not over. See, they think your story is over because they stopped something. But somebody here, they stopped your bag. OK. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but for somebody, your bag got stopped. OK. In some way, fashion or form, or they are slowly taking something away from you that they think is dear to your heart now it might be dear to your heart but at the same time that's not all you got going for you that's the thing they're thinking okay they are on the outside looking in and thinking hey this is something that is most precious to this person but see thing is they are judging you are making assumptions towards you without even knowing you now had they sat down and had a conversation with you OK. They might have learned something a little different. But I'm hearing these people make assumptions. Some of these people also that came against you were complete strangers like you did not know these people. These people do not know you. They think they know you. That's why they that that's why they're having a false victory right now, because they think. I'm hearing they think they. I'm mean, actually the nail in the coffin. They think that they put the they think they put the nail in, into the coffin. But the nail, but but see, that nail they put in the coffin was not your coffin. You're not in that coffin. 
See, God allowed them to have a false victory. Okay. I'm hearing God allowed them to set themselves up for failure by thinking that they had you or thinking that they had control over your life, over your foundation, over your blessings, over your abundance. Okay. Over your achievements. And the thing about that is that they're not your God. Okay. Now back to this precious dream that I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that there's some sort of dream that you had. You did have this dream, right? But that wasn't the end all be all for you. Okay. We're talking about somebody like, let's say you have an entertainer who's considered a triple threat. They could sing, dance and act. All right. So they're attacking you on your acting. And they're not even realizing that, hey, this person can sing, this person can dance. So they got other air, air, other avenues where they can make money. And the thing about that money, support themselves or achieve your mission. That's confirmation right there. And what they are not realizing is, is that that little thing that they quote unquote took from you or that little bag that they stopped. OK, that little door that they closed. OK, because because I, I see a clique of people pushing somebody out, that little door that they closed. That's not that is not the thing that's going to make you uh, some of y'all famous. That's not the thing that's going to make you well known. That's not the thing that God sent you here to do. See, that thing that you are here to do, that's going to make you. Be seen and be known as this rising star. OK, and however that's meant to play out in your life, that thing that is that is meant to push you to the forefront. OK, I'm hearing a meteor meteoric rise. That thing that's meant to push you to the top is not the thing that they had their hands on or and it's not a thing that they have any control over. OK, because your blessings come from the most high. It don't come from them. You feel me? Some of these people were in positions to take that from you or to 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 blacklist you to blackball you in an industry where they have more say so in. OK. I'm here. I'm hearing also hearing to shadow ban you on platforms and things that they have. They have more power in and on. I'm here manipulating the system. So all the while you were doing what you're supposed to have been doing. OK. And I'm hearing. Hats off to you and kudos to you and congratulations to you and don't stop doing that. Don't stop believing in your dreams, OK, because you were meant to go far and you are going far. All right. I'm getting these people. They are thinking and laughing. I'm hearing people laughing in the background, thinking that they stop. They're stopping your bread and butter. They are stopping your dreams and they feel like once they stop your dreams and stop your quote unquote bread and butter, that's going to stop you because they want you to stop talking. They want you to stop doing whatever it is that you're doing, whatever talent that you're displaying. They want you to stop doing it. OK, so if you are in the entertainment business in any way, fashion or form, if you are a social media influencer in any way, fashion or form, if, if you are out here in the world in corporate America in any way, fashion or form or either even doing blue collar jobs whatever you doing they feel like they have control over that area okay over that industry or even over that company that you work for they don't want you speaking up and encouraging people to be the best version of themselves okay they don't want you doing that because i'm hearing your testimony will change a lot of people's lives and give a lot of people hope, OK? To pursue their own dreams and to be their true, true and authentic self, OK? And not care about what anybody else says or how they feel. Some of you guys are open. You guys are our truth tellers because that word, that phrase came up, truth tellers. You are people out here. You are telling people you are helping people break to break out of the matrix. 
You are helping people to see the light, okay, where there's darkness or where there's chaos, where there's confusion or where, the, where it's chock full of illusions. You are helping people to clear the air and see through those illusions. And that is why they want to silence you. They don't want you to talk. Some of you may have asked yourself, like, why me out of all people? Why am I being targeted? Why am I the, you know what I'm saying? Why am I the one where uh, their attention is on, okay? What have I done wrong? You've done nothing wrong, okay? These people have a problem with you because of your power. Because you cannot easily be controlled. Because you... March to the beat of your own drum. You go your own way. You're not looking for somebody to tell you what to do, how to do it, how to speak, how to dress, what to think, what to say. You are not looking to up to anybody to guide you in that area. You are tapped in directly at the source. Okay, that is where your creativity comes from. And that is what they have a problem with because they do not have access to that same source that you are tapping, that your creativity is, is coming through. And that is the most high, that is God, that is your, your spirit team, whatever you, whatever you resonate with, okay? Although they feel like they are stopping your bag for whoever, whoever it is out here, who they may have stopped your bag, your finances are protected. So whatever you feel like you lost, you're going to gain that back and then some. I'm hearing do not lay down. This is not the time to lay down and say, oh, well, you know, I can't do it because of X, Y, because of them and putting it back on to because of something that they did know. I'm getting you are being set up for something even greater than what you lost or what you think you lost. Okay. I'm getting that was just a lesson. That was just preparation. That was just preparation for you for what's to come for you. And it's something that they cannot stop. Okay. Your true goal, your true agenda, your true mission has been kept secret from them. And that's between you and the most high between you and God, you feel me? So they cannot attack that. I'm hearing just lay low, remain quiet and keep doing what you got to do. You begin your downloads. You'll be getting your, your spiritual guidance and instruction. Take that and just keep it moving. You don't have to share it with the world. Just keep it in between you and God and you keep it moving. You guys are more powerful than you think. Just because you may have had this minor setback or this minor loss, you will be the winner of the entire war. You feel me? Your star was destined or is destined to rise and you are still rising even behind the scenes, even though even even when they can't see it, it's not for them to see. So don't feel any kind of way when you see people celebrating at your failures. When you see people abandoning, abandoning you when when things get tough. For somebody here, I'm keep hearing your finances are protected. OK, you have financial protection around you. You will get it back. Don't worry about that. I'm hearing calm your nerves. Do something nice for yourself. Surround yourself with love. Even though you couldn't get love from the, those people that you might have wanted that love from or that you might have wanted acceptance from, give it to yourself. The right ones will show up in your life. This is not a setback, but it's a setup to your victory. Okay, I don't know who needs to hear that message. That is a message that I have for you guys today. Hopefully it gets to the right person. Thank you so much for listening. You guys take care. Much love and light. Ciao.